So, so this is a, an interesting uh, kind of situation that you, I came across being in pro audio sales. Uh, I had uh, more than a few celebrities uh, that uh, needed to get rid of gear. You know, they weren't using it anymore, or maybe they they needed some money or something like that. And they reach out to me and they say, you know, can you take it in on trade or can you help me get rid of it? And uh, sometimes I could take it in on trade and, you know, work out a deal. And But I, I would always find a home for it before I took it in on trade. But uh, with uh, eBay, uh, I could post it on eBay for them and then get rid of it and, you know, send them their, their money. But uh, some of the the clients and, and pretty much all of them, I, I would tell them, I can explain to you how to do this and you can do it on your own and you don't need me. Uh, there's no reason I need to make money off of selling gear for you if you could sell it yourself. And I had, I remember one, one uh, pretty big celebrity client said, yeah, okay, that sounds great. You know, what do I do? And I told him, you know, take a picture of the front and the back, you know, open up an account you know, put it on eBay and, uh, you know, because uh, things are kind of filtered out and, I could tell them if, if, if it, it looked good or not and, uh, you know, sell them that way. And, and he said, OK, that 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 sounds good. I mean, he did the eBay thing, but I think he did the Craigslist thing, which is you, you don't have the protection. And um, I remember it was through the Craigslist. He got somebody who wanted to buy uh, a compressor he had. And the guy asked him to meet him in the parking lot and he would give him the cash. And he's a pretty big celebrity, but he said, oh, sure, I'll do it. So he went there and uh, met with the guy and the guy had a million questions. And, uh, uh, you know, they finally, you know, he got the money and he, and he got the, the gear. But he, he called me after that and he said, I'm never doing that again. He said, George, I don't care what you charge or what the fee is. I would rather you handle it. Just give me whatever money you can and get it back to me. And I just thought that was funny because uh, when they, when this, the clients of mine see what I have to go through to make a deal will happen for them. They don't want to go through it, and it's it's not so uh, it's not so uh, rosy when you have to deal with some uh, people. And you know, it's fair for people to ask as many questions as they want. And you should know the gear inside out so you can explain to them if there's an issue or if they're not or how they could use it. But uh, some of these clients of mine, they don't know the gear as, as well as they they could know it. And uh, asking all those questions and they're just, you know, used to having, you know, an entourage around them and security and all that. And they just decide to do something by themselves and it doesn't turn out the way that it should. I, I just thought that's funny, but that's how uh, a lot of the clients would say, you know what, you take care of it. I don't care what it costs. Just take care of it and take care of take care of it, uh, uh, you know, for me.